everyone, I'm Silas Q and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me and subscribing to my little family. That video that you're waiting for about SEO and how to get more views on your video and tagging your video so you could get more views, that's coming in a few days, BTW. So if you're actually interested in that, anyone who isn't subscribed, make sure you subscribe for that video because it'll be up soon. Just throwing that out there. But for today's video, I'm going to show you my result of basically trying Fire Dukai's Get Rid of Acne in 5 Days. By the way, so I don't waste your time, I'm not going to make you wait till the end of the video to know. I'm going to tell you now. That shit works. It works amazingly. I'll show you a before somewhere on the screen. This is how my face looks now. It's not the best, but I'm showing you the progress I'm making. And that mask, that whew, five day thing that I did, it works so well. The acne that I had before shriveled up and died and ran away because there was like this big bunch right here. And as you can see, it's no longer like, you know, gross looking. It's just now scabbing and healing. And my face, the scars are slowly starting to disappear. And like I said, the active acne that I had, it basically went away. And new acne that you see, that's mother nature for you. Yep, your girl's on her period. TMI, I don't care. Anyhow, yeah, I'm on my period, so I got even more acne. If you have a problem and you have issues like I do with hormonal acne, where you get acne all the time because your hormones are out of whack and it doesn't even just happen when you're on your period then this mask is definitely for you but um you're not gonna see as quick results as a normal person would because our acne is a little bit more tougher so yeah um just throwing that out there but this mask is amazing i'm going to keep using it two times a week like instructed i'll show you the whole shebang because it's not just doing the mask i didn't want to wait till the end of the video to tell you guys that but you should keep watching so you can see the progress that my skin has made because it's helped so much and you literally need to see like the journey it's been on because it's a heck of a journey and I think this mask could help you I just wanted to quickly share with you guys how my steamer looks and what steamer I'm using this one I actually got off of Amazon and it works pretty amazing so I'll link it in the description box if you're interested. It's so affordable. I think I got it for like 20 something dollars or it was on sale, but I'll link it. Anyhow, I have my Aztec Healing Clay Mask in that little container there because it's just easier to store in my bathroom. And I'm going to be mixing it in this plastic bowl. Like she says, you're only allowed to use plastic or glass, no metal. And I have my little brush to mix it. Here I have my apple cider vinegar. And I have my face wash, which is pretty gentle. So the first thing she says to do in the video is start off with a clean face. I actually just finished taking a shower. So everything, my face is clean. I have no products on it and that's what she recommends. So nothing should be on your face when you do this. So I've set my timer five minutes into my steaming. So my face will be warm enough and it'll be nice and wet. So I can apply my um, cleanser. After I do that, I'm supposed to wipe my cleanser off and then apply the face mask by the way if you don't have a steamer at home i'm pretty sure you saw that trick that people just boil some hot water in a pot and then they put a cloth over their head and then they just put their face underneath the cloth and let all the steam just soak into their face i do highly highly recommend though you get a steamer it just makes your life so much easier and you don't have to stay you know by the Hot or whatever and like I said this steamer is really really affordable and you're supposed to just use the cleanser while the steamer is on okay so I just quickly and I mean really really quickly um, used warm water to wash the cleanser off my face so we're gonna go right back into steaming like she says in the video and while we're steaming, we're supposed to be preparing our mask. So like I said, I have my Aztec Healing Clay Mask in here. So I'm going to eyeball this. She actually recommends that we just use apple cider vinegar. So that's what I'm going to use here. I'm going to shake it up, pour it in, and get like that nice consistency. I made a mess. Honestly, I suck with the consistency part, so I always just pour a little bit at a time. You just have to basically get used to playing with it. It's bubbling. She says when it's bubbling, then it's awesome. And she recommends that while we do 
one side, the other side is steaming. So I'm going to apply the mask on this side of the face and crap, I'm going to need a mirror. Okay, mine's finished, I guess. So I don't really leave the mask on where it gets really, really hard and then it just cracks on my face because I thought that was bad for your skin. But she recommends that to really feel it and for it to pull out your nastiness basically and get the blood circulating that you can leave it on that long that she does that basically she actually used the steamer for a little bit while she had the mask on so it's been enough time with the steamer and the mask on now i'm just going to wait for it to dry on its own and i'll check back in with you guys okay guys so you can either wash it off right now or you can leave it on so it gets a little tighter and it gets more like this where it's cracked instead of this wet patch so in her video she actually leaves it on until it gets like this crack textured so it gets the blood flowing and it's truly pulling everything out so guys i just finished washing off the mask as you can see my face is really really red kind of like how hers look um, in her video, she said that for people like me who have acne, it's recommended to do this twice a week until it helps. Now, quick thing, after you wash the mask off, you're supposed to tone your face and moisturize. So usually I use apple cider vinegar with water as a toner. So half amount of apple cider vinegar, half amount of water. And I just put it on a cotton ball like so. I just dab it across my face sorry but my camera died and the last step that we were supposed to do was to apply a moisturizer so i don't actually use moisturizer and she didn't use a moisturizer in the video either she actually used her own oil and typically i do use oils instead of an actual moisturizer so i like to combine these two together this one is a derma e rose hip and cranberry face oil and this one is pixie rose oil blend so i actually like to do like one or two of each and i just put it in the palm of my hand and then i go like this and then i just pat it on my face so that's all i did when the camera died just to let you know so that's what i do to moisturize that's it for the whole shebang of what she directed us to do so in farah's video farah's like i know her <laughs> i wish but in farah dukai's video she recommend that people with more acne actually use this mask method like twice a week so i'm actually going to check in with you guys every day to show you how my skin is I'm going to be doing that whole shebang that we just did on day three and then we'll see if you know my skin cleared up in five days like the video claims but yeah so i'm gonna be doing this twice a week since i have more acne problems than she does so stay tuned today's day two which means yesterday i did the mask i don't notice any changes right now like anything significant everything looks the same on my face in my opinion so yeah i think i'm gonna have to give it more time so today's day three and i did notice the smaller pimples went down after doing the mask but as you can see here i have some stubborn pimples that are literally freaking four pimples in one cluster so i don't know it didn't go down but more or less the other pimples went down after i did the mask i just think i have some extra strong ones and that's why she recommended we do it twice in the five day span so since today's day three, I'm actually going to do the whole shebang again tomorrow on day four. So today's day four, and really quickly, I want to show you how my face looks before I do the mask and the facial steamer again. I think my face is getting a lot better. These are still there, obviously, because they're huge, and they're not going to go away that quickly. But the rest of the pimples that I had a few days before have de definitely gone down. And I had this, and it was... A bumpy pimple but now it's just a mark and I had this pimple on my head now it's just a scab and that definitely went down so I think the mask really helped so far and my face it might not look like it got better but it definitely did for me um because obviously I stare at my face every day so I notice these things and I feel like the camera 
just makes it look 10 times worse but yeah so like i said this is before i do the whole process so i'm about to do the process again and then i'm going to show you guys how it looks sorry then i'm going to show you guys how it looks after i do the mask so i'll check back in so once again now that it's all cracked up for the most part i'm going to now remove it so i literally just washed off the mask and as you can see here this had a white head before in the pimple sorry it's gross i know but it had a white head before and the mask was able to draw it out and it basically you know it got hard it cracked up and then it just washed off so that pimple is now gone and it's going to probably become a little scab and then it's on its way to healing after the mask i still have these and i don't know if i'm crazy or not after i look at the footage i'll know but doesn't this one look like the white head is more to the surface than it was before i don't know this looks a lot more crazy on camera but it actually went down after the mask it looks red right now but it was way worse before i did the mask and this is how the other side this looks. series is not a negative series like I stated before, just in case any of you are confused, I am not bashing anyone when I'm calling them out. It's just me. It's a catchy title, okay? I'm doing the YouTube part here. But yeah, it's just me trying how-to videos and see if it actually works, see if it's actually helpful, that type of stuff. That's why I called it that. And yeah, today was a success. This, this video, this mask worked perfectly. So yay for the win! Okay guys, thank you so so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to see new videos and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. All I want to do is help you guys. That's why I do it. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed watching the video. Hey, say goodbye, say goodbye. He was barking, so he's now in the video. Because he's an attention whore. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Love you. Okay, love you guys too. <laughs> Bye.